All of you. I can't fight the damned air. You want to live? Stay out! What's going on, Mason? God, Captain. There's... I can't even describe. On your time, son. Reports of some haze with a stench of rust and throw-up. There was a cloud, then a lingering mist. Anyone caught in the cloud just went mad. Then the others just wretched themselves dead. All right. Keep your post. We'll take it from here. He's a good man. Trust that it's as bad as he says. Let's hope this elf didn't try to make enough powder to sell. Didn't sound like a merchant to me. Let's go. Maker. We need to stop this mist. Find the source. This should do the trick. Certainty when this is over. Easy. I'm just trying to find out what happened. Is that... Sarah Hawk? You have enemies. I'm glad it's you, really. These poor people. You are a much better target. So, care to explain your particular brand of crazy? Canari take my people. My siblings forget their culture, then go to the Kune for purpose. We're losing them twice. So I get some help from your people. We'll take the Canari Thunder, make some accidents, and make them hate it. But this... This is all wrong. You were going to kill people anyway. That's... not funny at all, really. It can still work. 
They're hidden in your city. They'll enrage the faithful and make sure the Kunari are blamed. Me, I'm finished. I just need a few more bodies. A few more. Right, and wrong. You'll need to know about this. So, I was wrong about our thief. It appears so. They say we were careless with our trap, that this is our fault. But even without the Sarkamek, there would have been death. This elf was determined to lay blame at our feet. Selfishness, want, denial. How do you allow this to continue? If you dislike Kirkwall so much, why haven't you left? Since we arrived, I have seen nothing but greed and weakness. Dwarves, humans, elves, just... festering. No order, no goal. You are one of the few I have met with any ability. And yet this too was random, a result of selfishness. I cannot fathom how a mire like this can be justified. You say we should leave. But how can you bear to stay in this... chaos? My welcome to the city was not so different from yours. And yet you suffer it. It's an opportunity to make a real difference. Karisten are soldiers. The Kuhn made it so. They can never vary from that assigned path, never be other than they are meant to be. But, they are free to choose within that role, to accept and succeed, or deny and die. Glory is clear and defined. Could you, could not this entire city benefit from that certainty? How else will you know when you have made a real difference? He's free to choose to obey. That isn't contradictory to you. He chooses to be. As do we all, long before any of your meaningless freedoms are presented. Your kind may force our role to change, if the Kuhn demands.
She was angry to see her people losing their culture by claiming yours. We accept those who submit to the Kuhn. The weak naturally seek the strong. It doesn't matter. We did not come equipped to indoctrinate. I am here to satisfy a demand you cannot understand. It's been a long time. It will take as long as needed. No ship is coming. There is no rescue from duty to the Kuhn. I am stuck here. That is not the understanding of city leaders and their supporters. Let them rot. Filth stole from us. Not now, not the Sarkamek. Years ago. A simple act of greed has bound me. We are all denied Parvolin until I alone recover what was lost under my command. That is why this elf and her shadows are unimportant. That is why I do not simply walk from this pustule of a city. Fixing your mess is not the demand of the Kuhn, and you should all be grateful! Thank you, human, for your service. Leave. That's an oxman ready to charge. The Viscount should know. You were very close to losing your printing blocks, Varric. Once more, I am falsely accused of whatever it is I am accused of. Falsely. Someone swapped the text of my recruitment poster with some filth from the Blooming Rose. Ooh, that does sound pretty good. Sure. Feel the... What they say, the best comedy comes from tragedy. If you're here about a shipment, that's the overseer. I just live to care.
hunters. Stop right there! You are in possession of stolen property! Back away from the slave now and you'll be spared! Fenris is a free man! I won't repeat myself! Back away from the slave now! I am not your slave! There's a lesson. I don't know. I don't know, I swear. Adriana brought us. She's at the holding caves north of the city. I can show you the way. No need. I know which ones you speak of. Then let me go. I beg you. I swear You chose I won't... the wrong master. <clears throat> Adriana. I was a fool to think I was free. They'll never let me be. This is someone you know. My old master's apprentice. I remember her well. A sniveling social climber that would sell her own children if she thought it would please Daenerys. If she's here, it's at his bidding. I knew he wouldn't let this go. They need to be stopped before this goes any further. The holding caves held slaves in the old times, but apparently they are no longer abandoned. We must go quickly, before Hadriana has a chance to prepare, or flee. Nice work. 